All right, guys, some more Physics 184. Um, this is Chapter 27, Chapter Before 28. Um, so this is number four, Mastering Physics. So we're given a problem here. Uh, 1 times 10 to the 20 electrons flow through a cross-section of 5 millimeter diameter and an, an iron wire in 5.50 seconds. Okay, so... All right, so let's just go ahead and write down what we know, what we have. So we have electrons, right? So that's like the number of electrons. Um, we can we can get uh, um, the coulombs from this, right? So if we have one point, or let's just write it like this: one e to the 20 electrons, right? We know that one electron is minus 1.6 e to negative 19 coulombs, so we can get the charge like that. Um, and then we have um, the area, so that's just going to be 5 e to the minus 3, and that's going to be divided by 2 and squared. But pi we get um, 1.963 e to the negative 5 meters squared, and we want to know the electron drift speed. So what gives us the electron drift speed? Well, we, we have to figure out what makes an, an, an amp. So we have a time over 5.5 seconds, and we know that, well, we, let's just write down what equations we know first. We know I is equal to um, the electron or the, the electron density times it by the charge of an electron, and then times that by um, the electron drift velocity, which is what we're trying to find, and times it by the area, which we already found. And what is I? So let's go ahead and re rearrange this. So for VD, this is going to be I divided by NEA. And then I is basically one amp. Let's just say it's, it's in amps, okay? So if I is a unit in amps, what makes an amp? One amp is made by, is equal to one coulomb per second. We found how many coulombs are right here. So let's go ahead and type this in the calculator. Uh, one E to a 20 times by 1.6 e to the negative 19. This would be negative 16. We're just gonna keep it as positive right now. So um, we have the amount, the, just the charge. I mean, it'll be negative 16 coulombs. It'll be fine though. So if we plug in 16 here into the equation, we'll have VD um, let's see. This equation will have 16 coulombs divided by 5.5 seconds. So we divide by 5.5. That gives 2.91 amps, which would be going for the I in this equation. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put in 2.91 and N. So we have to get this from the book. So in the book, there's a table that tells us what um, electron or the charge density, and not the charge density, but electron density of each each metal. So let's go ahead and find this in the book. Okay, so in the book, the electron density for um, metals or for iron is 8.5 e to the 28. All right, let's go ahead and pause this for a little bit. Oh, sorry about that. I had to get my book, the book myself, but okay. But as we found a previous problem, um, the charge and electron density for iron is um. Let's see here. Oops, let's not delete that. Twenty-eight. So that's going to be meters cubed or negative meters cubed. And then the electron, right? That's just going to be 
Oh, we can keep it all negative, I guess, since this was going to cancel out with that, the negative sign. So it's just going to be a 1.6. Um, e to the minus 19 coulombs as amps. So that's um, coulomb per second here. And then this is just going to be the area. Um, so that's going to be a 1.963. Your squares, I uh, can't really fit all that, but so if this is actually a one over meters cubed, we got a meter squared with the meters cubed, we're left with one meter. So this meter is going to go up top here, and this coulomb is going to cancel this coulomb, so we're left with meters per second, right? So if we type this on the calculator, um, let's see if I can get this back. Um, times 1.6 e to the negative 19 that was about 8.5 e to the 28 2.9 and then if we take 2.91 divided by the denominator we'll get 1.089 um, so that'd be meters per second times 10 to the negative 5 meters per second. So we can get this in micrometers, which is what this is in. So we can just divide by or multiply by um, 1, 1 e to the 6. So if we did that, we'll get 10.89 or 10.9 micrometers per second, which is in fact the answer they have here.